Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to 10 Years On and today we're looking at Gabrielle Veron. Before we get started make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and we can take a look at any of the players that you want to leave in the comments just like this one which was left by Paxton. He left a comment asking for Gabrielle Veron to be looked at and that is exactly what we're going to do and he looks very very tidy 18 years old at the start of the game at palmeiras uh, 2.6 million valuations to 7.8 something interesting that might be good to look at is if he's got a minimum release clause now um, for a foreign club it's 51 million so i don't know if you'll be able to get him for cheaper than that or, or how that will go uh, his contract does expire in 2025 so there's a little bit of time yet till then um, but he looks pretty tasty a winger he can play either side can play up front uh, as well as just behind if you need him to and even in the midfield where needed but some good finishing and dribbling uh, very much a brazilian of name and nature um good flair along with that and some very tasty pace as well so we'll jump 10 years on and take a look at where his career takes him and here we are 10 years on gabriel veron at 28 years old is at tijuana of all clubs doesn't look like he's developed much at all which is quite surprising for a young player with that much quality at the start of the game you'd expected a little bit more from him he's grown an inch which is quite nice but other than that it's been very limited um valued at 1.3 million and his transfer listed so i mean he doesn't look bad for 1.3 million i have to say ten thousand pounds a week as well not too shabby capped at under 23 level um so he's not actually made the national team for brazil yet so he could make an appearance for mexico if he really wanted i guess um let's take a look at his history so he made a 1.1 million pound move to fc juarez in 24 25 season it looks like he was very limited with game time at palmeiras um he got a little bit more at juarez then a move to pumas as well one of the bigger teams along with that he got limited time there as well which probably shows why he he hasn't developed quite as well as you'd hope um he was loaned out to junior in colombia played a little more but again very limited goals he's only scored 18 goals and got 13 assists in 151 games which is very very poor tijuana then bought him for 1.1 million and a player um, in exchange again he hasn't performed for him so far no wonder he's on the transfer list already he's he's had a really really poor career and I'd put that down to Palmeiras not playing him well enough in the first instance. He got a pretty decent amount of game time for FC Juarez, um, getting five assists in one season, three in another. But then the move to Pumas, where he obviously got somewhat scouted um, as a player that could really develop, just didn't. He was he got stuck, and that was it. Um, has he managed to win any sort of competitions or anything like that? Uh, so he did win the a couple of competitions with Palmeiras, and the uh, and he he won the qualifying for the Olympic Games with Brazil's under twenty threes, but otherwise he won the he was won the Colombian Super Cup with Junior Junior in Colombia, uh, and the under twenty threes won an opening stage championships for Tijuana. So very very little trophy wins um personal awards fc juarez he was in their best 11 for a few seasons which was good um overall i mean he was sao paulo young player of the year or third place which isn't too shabby that probably shows how much potential he had but didn't quite live up to it uh, and then he was named in the best 11 for two of his other clubs as well so it's it's disappointing i have to say let me know um if you have signed him and if he's performing slightly better than what um he has done in game because I, I think he really can do i think if you sign him i think it'll be a completely different career compared to the one that his football manager has kind of predicted for him as i think he's he's got so much potential and a player that could really really shine but he just needs that game time to develop. But there you go. I uh, hope you did enjoy. Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave any comments below of any players you want to see in upcoming episodes so I can get those done for you. And I will catch you in the next one.